are encouraged to attend a half day workshop. You know, talk with y'all, chat with y'all for a little bit. Turn this off. But, um, yeah, so I probably go get a couple of groceries. Go to, I might go to, you know what, I might go to Aldi's again, y'all. I told y'all about Aldi's. I don't know if I mentioned the Aldi's. I might, that might have been Facebook. But, yeah, I have been tripping on Aldi's. You know, you know the bougie in me. I just don't know. For some of y'all, I don't know, y'all say, y'all may not have Aldi's. But, Aldi's is kind of like a, um, I want to say, it's like a low budget or low economy store and you have to put like a quarter in their um uh shopping cart to get a uh shopping cart release and you kind of buy your own bags or it's like okay first of all i have the music on but when i'm vlogging the music is going to overpower while I'm talking. And, and also, you don't even be listening to the music that I be listening to. You be listening to that ratchet uh, music. You don't even listen to that station. So don't even act like that's what you listen to when you be in this car. I'm watching her. She in the crosswalk. What do I look like hitting her? Her hair cute, though. So the guy with the dog, he's supposed to get up with you. Did you call him? I already called him. Uh, uh, so so wait a minute, dog. you selling the dog? He is him. It's really him. He's getting up so why are you calling somebody? Uh, he is something. The dog won't just sit at my house. I have three now. Well, man, well, the house of me, I'm sitting at a dog. I ate dog food out of my dog bag. And I Keep on, he ain't been there but for one night. Yeah, <laughs> so, I don't know why There's you try to act like <laughs> you've been raising the dog from a pup. I'm in the business to make money. You know what I mean? <laughs> you I are gotta not find right. a home for the dog and feed him and board all the shelter. You board uh, him for a night. For a night, cause yeah, that dog enough. is Nothing going home. Cause money. I can tell that that dog oh, is know. mean, like Brooklyn was. I have no, no attachment to What type of money. pit bull is that? He is a red nose pit bull. Red nose. You know what though? But all pit bulls are not like that because girl that I used to work with, her pit bull was sweet. Her pit bull was sweet, but that one that you had was a what? What type of pit bull was that? Same kind. A red nose. She was pretty though. She so was, was pretty. He. That honey color with them green eyes. So was he. He, he and I was like, oh, we gonna call her Brooklyn. She had a cute little name, but she was mean. Just mean for no reason. Just, I was just like, what is her problem? I was like, oh yeah, I wanna be around her. So the only reason why I'm gonna have this pig is if I know her from a baby. That's the only way I'm gonna be trusting this pit bull. That little puppy was mean. I was just like, okay, get her out of here. She act like she crazy. Something wrong with her. That time y'all went up to New York and you was like, can you watch her? She was just like. I'm trying to let her out the kennel when we was crate training her. I'm trying to let her out the kennel to go to the bathroom. She like, I'm trying to bite you and us. Little sharp little teeth. I'm like, uh uh. No, girlfriend, you got to go. What is wrong with you? And after she bit Chuck, Chuck was like, uh uh, I'm not fooling with her. He was like, I'm done. Broke the skin. I was like, oh my god, what is wrong with this dog? Did we even have it? Was Avery even born then? Yeah, we Brooklyn. Huh? I don't think so. Do you still see Brooklyn for the people that you gave it to? I haven't seen it. 
Because um, I was going to say, does she even remember you? You said they changed her name though, right? To Honey. To Honey. Yeah. That don't even suit her. Brooklyn suited her better. She was mean. <laughs> but at the same time, that was not gonna work. Especially, ooh, if she'd have been around my grandchild, I wouldn't have been able to trust her because I would daddy would have been like, nah, I'm about to shoot that dog. I mean, we wouldn't have had her around my grandson because you couldn't trust her. But which one call the dogs that lived across from us? His dogs was nice. He had pit bulls. But this dog right here that you got at the house. And you said that dog is what? Not even what? 12 weeks old? attacked Bear and Bear was just growling at him like he, he jumped on Bear like the Bear was in the wrong and he was trying to eat out of Bear. He's the troublemaker. He's little with him but he's, he's starting yeah, to well, He's real dog aggressive though. Yeah, he's too dog aggressive. That. Yeah, he's that. It's like he's scared so he, he lashes out and, and snaps. Did they have him locked up? Do you know? I know. He told me he was a house dog. I mean, that's what That was. might be why he was barking and stuff all last night because he wanted to come in the house. But I was like, I don't know you. And Bear's got his shots and all that, so you have to be careful. Like, you can't just have a dog we don't know if he had his shots or whatever around Bear and stuff. So I was just like, nah. I'm not taking that chance. That's why I am. For those of y'all don't know, I don't even think I mentioned it. Bear um, is my son's dog, and he um, got him when he was like, how old, okay? Key? Maybe about. How old was he? Because he's like five months now. Yeah. And we had him since like what? Maybe he was almost uh, eight weeks. Yeah. Eight weeks. And Bear might be 45 pounds maybe now. <laughs> He's still a puppy. And he is Rockwaller mixed with Chinese Sharpay. That's hence the name Bear. <laughs> but his face is more... Um, like Sharpay, but he's just the cutest thing. Look like a big old teddy, but he's like a, a big old teddy bear. But his, the way he looks is like, is intimidating when you first see him, but he's just, um, 
Just a gentle bear. Like, but at the same time, like, he still ain't no punk. Like, he'll be, he'll growl and everything like, like with another dog if he, you know, try him. But like with people, he's real friendly. Real friendly. Like, you can take him anywhere. My son, we can walk him and everything, and he'll let people rub him. Like, he loves to be around people. We take him, like, in the pet, smart pet car or whatever. Everybody be like, ooh, they, everybody, no matter where we go with him, they want to rub him. They be like, oh, he's so soft and everything, and they just want to rub him. He just, he just love it all up. Like, he be like, yeah, rub me, rub me. Like, he's just a big old teddy bear <laughs> like it's like the perfect name for him my sister was like that's not a name <laughs> that's not a real name that's a that's another animal <laughs> but it just fits him to me so I think my mother was the one that said name a bear and so yeah but my grandson love him <laughs> He'd be like, don't look bad outside, bring bad in the house, bad is cold, right? <laughs> and out of all our dogs, like, he loved bad, and he liked my miniature schnauzer. Like, I, we had two miniature schnauzers, who we adored, we had for years. And uh, my first miniature schnauzer, they both have gone on to doggy heaven, but, um, and then we had a German Shepherd who we loved he grew up with my kids Quincy and he got shot by the cops that's a long story I don't even want to get into that right now um, he had got loose one time and the cops shot him and the neighbors were all like he shouldn't even got shot we haven't got any big plans except for him to cook dinner for my family go to church um, and probably do some cut some Easter eggs with my grandbaby, which I'm gonna have to do that. Um, Lord, I'm looking on the news and it is snowing. Where is it snowing at? Uh, one of my friends that I grew up with said that it was snowing where she lived in Staten Island. And uh, that's crazy. But, um, yeah, I don't know where that was, where it was snowing at. Probably um, up by the mountains. But, yeah. I'm glad we passed that because I think I mentioned I hate to be cold. I hate the snow. I hate that weather. But, um, yeah, I'm going to color some Easter eggs with him because this is not our weekend to have him. We had him last Easter. So, this sucks. But, and I try to use a lot of gluten free products as well now because I have a gluten free sensitivity. But, yeah, this is a very good butter. It's a little bit more expensive, but I try to use this butter. And then also, it's very good to use um, uh, unsalted butter as well. I use that a lot when I'm baking. But I'm about to make me, excuse the back of my head, y'all, while I'm talking to y'all. But I'm about to make me this egg. With some butter. I woke up with a headache this morning. Sinuses has been bothering me. It's this weather. And let me tell you what I did. It was so funny. I woke up. <coughs> excuse me. And I woke up and I thought I was taking two uh, sinus pill headache pills. And Lord, if I didn't take two stomach pills, my husband had to tell me. I took it in the dark. I had the pills in my pocketbook, okay? My son.